In this video, we're going to use matrices and Excel to solve three simultaneous linear equations. Imagine we have the equation shown here, 3x plus z is equal to 0, 7x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to minus 20, and 7y plus 5z is equal to minus 119. We can write these equations in matrix form. So we've got 3x, which is the 3 here, there are no y's, which is why we have a 0 here, and there's one z, which is why we have one there. 7, 3, 3, and then there's no x in the final line, so there's a 0 here, and 7 and 5. We multiply that by x, y, and z, which are the variables on the left-hand side, and then the constants on the right-hand side are this column matrix here, 0, minus 20, and minus 119. In matrix terms, we can write this as the A matrix times the X matrix is equal to the C matrix. Now, if these were algebraic terms, we'd just divide both sides by A, but there's no division in matrices. So what we have to do is we have to find the inverse of matrix A. In this video, I won't go into how to find the inverse of a matrix. We'll just let Excel do that for us. So let's call up Excel. And now we'll put the numbers into Excel. So we've got 3, 0, 1, 3, 3, 7, 0, 7, 5. And we'll say that is times the x, y and z matrix. And we'll say that's equal to 0, minus 20, minus 119. So we've added borders to make them look a little bit more like matrices. So this is matrix A times matrix X is equal to matrix C. So we want to find the inverse of matrix A. So A dash means the inverse. And to do that, we're going to use a function called m inverse and there's m inverse double click on that mark the matrix close the bracket and there's the inverse of the matrix so to find the x matrix we're going to use a function called m mult we're going to mark the a the inverse of a comma the c matrix equals so let's make these look a little bit more like matrices. And as always, we should have a sanity check. So we're going to say that this coefficient times this value plus this coefficient times this value plus this coefficient times this value equals, and we get zero. This value is equal to this value, so so we're probably all right, but because it's so easy, we're going to test each one of these equations. I need to make a slight change to this expression. So where I've got C12, I'd like that to remain constant. So I'll put a dollar in there. C13 wants a dollar and C14 wants a dollar. So now what I can do is I can drag this down. And it will calculate all three lines. As an additional check, I can say that if this cell is equal to this cell, then print the word OK, otherwise print the word bad. And so that's OK. And now if I copy that down, I can see all the equations calculate correctly.